Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to take a look at problems that involve a percent increase, a percent decrease, and a discount. But before we get started, we have to get out our student of the semester, Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready? Yeah. Let's get started right there. This is a percent increase problem. The annual tuition at a four-year college is expected to increase from $4,500 to $5,400 next year. What is the percentage increase? Now, do you remember our structured format from our last two videos? It basically said, to calculate a portion, you multiply the percent times the total. And that's it. Our structured format for percent increase problems is this. The amount of increase, which is the portion, is a percent of the total. In this case, it's, it's a percent increase, and the total is the annual tuition before the increase. In this problem, we are looking for the percentage, the percent increase. So we need to know the amount of increase. But we are not given that. But we know the tuition increased from $4,500 to $5,400. So to calculate the amount of increase, we take the difference of those two quantities. So we take 5,400 and subtract 4,500 and we get 900. So $900 represents the amount of increase. So we can put that into our equation. Now since we're looking for the percent increase, we will represent that quantity by the variable x, Charlie. Now the annual tuition, we use the annual tuition amount before the increase, because the amount of increase is a percentage of the annual tuition before the increase. Therefore, the annual tuition is $4,500. Therefore, our equation is 900 equals 4,500 times x. To solve for x, get ready with that calculator, Charlie. To solve for x, we divide both sides by $4,500. And Charlie, what's 900 divided by 4,500? Point two. Very nice there, Charlie. It's two tenths. Point two. And that's our x. Now remember, x represents the percent increase, so we have to report a percentage. We have a decimal, and to convert a decimal to a percent, we move the decimal which way, Charlie? To the right. That's right. To the right two times. Doing that, we get a percentage of 20%. So the percent increase is 20%. Let's do another problem. Now, this is a percent decrease problem. Now, don't get scared, Charlie. Here we go. A person whose salary is $42,000 receives a 2% pay cut. Ouch. What is the salary decrease and what is the new salary? So we're asked to report two things. What's the amount of decrease and what is the new salary? So let's go back to our structured format. Remember, a portion equals a percent times the total. So the amount of decrease, which is the portion, is equal to the percent decrease times the total salary. The amount of decrease is what we're trying to find, so we will represent that quantity by x. The percent decrease is 2%. Now remember, in the equation, we don't put the percentage value we put its decimal representation. And to convert a percent to a decimal, we move the decimal two places to the what, Charlie? Left. Very nice. To the left. That's right. So, 2% as a decimal, move it two places to the left, we get 0 0.02, which is two hundredths. Two over 100, right? And the total salary was given, that's 42,000. And so to calculate the amount of decrease, multiply 0 0.02, times 42,000, and what'd you get, Charlie? 840, very nice there. So, the amount of decrease is $840. Now, what is the new salary? To get the new salary, we just take the old salary, which was 42,000, and subtract 840, and so the new salary is $41,160. There you go, let's do one more problem, and this problem involves discount. Here we go. During a clearance sale, a pair of shoes that originally sold for $89.95 is marked down to $53.97. That's a good discount. What 
is the percent discount? I mean, the salesperson may be telling you that's a 50% discount. No, it's not. I know how to do math. I learned this in pre-algebra. Well, let's see what the answer is. Now, remember our structured format. A portion equals a percent times the total. So in this problem, the amount of discount, which is the portion, is equal to the percent discount times the original price. What is the amount of discount? Well, we are not given that. But we know the original price was $89.95 and the discounted price was $53.97. So we take the difference and we get $35.98. And that is the amount of discount. So let's put that into our equation. The percent discount is what we are trying to find. So we will represent that quantity by the variable X times the original price. Well, the original price is the higher price, right? And that's $89.95. Therefore, our equation is 35.98 equal to 89.95x. Now we divide both sides by 89.95 and what'd you get, Charlie? 0.4. 4 tenths, 0 0.4. And that's x. And remember, x represents a percentage, not a decimal. So we have to report our answer as a percentage. Therefore, we convert that decimal to a percent by moving the decimal which way, Charlie? To the right. That's right, to the right two times. And so our answer is 40%. So the percent discount in this case was 40%. That's enough for now. Let's take a break and we hope to see you again soon.